Hello and welcome to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Jardin. It has been a dismal year for investors so far. Positive news has been rarer than a flight leaving on time from Pearson. In one of my last videos, I touched on how long it takes to break even in a bear market. Today, I wanted to focus on what you can do to protect your downside. And more specifically, what we are doing here at Bellwether to protect our clients' life savings. Number one, we follow a dividend growth strategy. Dividend growth stocks tend to be of higher quality than those of the broader market in terms of earnings quality and leverage. Quite simply, when a company is reliably able to boost its dividend for years or even decades, this indicates it has a certain amount of financial strength and discipline. By investing in stocks that pay a dividend, you're also earning that dividend during the turbulent times while you wait for better times in the market, getting paid to wait. It is also proven that throughout periods of market volatility, dividend growers tend to outperform the broader market. In the current downturn, this is again being proven correct, with all bellwether equity strategies holding up very well against their respective benchmarks. Number two, we have a unique approach to fixed income. Traditionally, fixed income portfolios are made up of a lot of bonds. Low interest rates over the past few years have made it very hard to get a return on that part of your portfolio. And just to add salt to the wound, the rise in interest rates this year has resulted in a significant drop in the value of bonds. Currently, the FTSE Canada Universe Bond Index is down just over 12% on the year. For most balanced investors, this has resulted in double-digit losses so far this year. We have not seen that here though. With short-term bonds being less volatile than long-term bonds, our global approach with a focus on short-term bonds has weathered the storm very well and is producing a good income. We also have a sizable allocation to alternative lending strategies that pursue niche markets that large financial institutions do not tend to compete in. These strategies are primarily focused on short-term, you know, one to 24 months, asset-based lending. The loans are typically secured by collateral on the borrower's assets and have attractive, visible cash flow. Again, this part of the portfolio has held up very well so far this year. Number three, we are not afraid to hold some cash. Most advisors want to get your money invested as soon as possible. That is how they get paid. Whilst trying to time the market and going 100% into cash is not something we would recommend, we are not afraid to hold on to higher than normal cash positions in volatile times as we wait for the right opportunities to deploy. We also take a dollar cost averaging approach to any new money as we phase it into the market over time. The last thing we want to do if someone has sold their house and hands us a big check to invest for them is drop it all into the market and then see a sizable decline in the portfolio value. Dollar cost averaging is the perfect strategy for a bear market. It never feels like it when you're living through them, but the purchases you make during a bear market will almost always be the best investments you make. Well, there you have it. Hopefully I've given you a bit of insight into how we actively protect our clients' life savings in times of volatility like we are seeing this year. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And before you go, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.